Sagittarius, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This is a message for Sagittarius energy, Sagittarius sun, moon, rising sun, metaconscious Sagittarian energy. So you may be drawn to this even if you're not a Sagittarius sun. You may have prominent Sagittarius energy in your chart or be dealing with it. So if you're seeing this message, if it's come to you, this message is for you and it comes to you at exactly the right time when you need to hear it. And this is where your message begins. Oh, it's been a while since we got spider front and center. Make your dreams real. Now let me draw your attention to the energy up top that's 56 five plus six adds up to 11 which we don't reduce because it's a divine number of awakening so maybe you're awakening right now sagittarius to everything that you're capable of but spiders are hard at work animals that create their own space out of themselves so you're in the energy of creating and building your world so your world is building up again and you have more control over it than maybe you're realizing which is why this card is coming to you to bring a level of consciousness to just how powerful you are and just how much power you have over your own life right now. So please know that. Make your dreams meet real means that you also have the ability to create from that heart space, create from that space of your truth. So it doesn't have to be creating what other people want you to create. It could be creating simply from what you know, what you can do. So this, this is a very powerful energy and you are building and there's, there's so much like momentum behind being able to be productive and, and see that pr uh, productivity come to fruition. So let's get deeper into the message. Remember, while I'm dividing the deck, whatever cards spell out, wherever they spell out, I'm going to leave it there because it's part of the message. I'm going to break everything down into a seven-day play-by-play for you guys so you see the week ahead kind of just sprawled out in front of you, <laughs> literally. If you are looking for a personal reading, I do provide those. Please check out my website, www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com, and you can book a session with me right there, and the message will come back to you within... Uh, within within 24 hours so you actually you actually get your message from me pretty quickly okay i'm gonna leave that there uh sagittarius if you haven't yet please uh click that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel if you select that uh bell button and select all notifications you'll get notified when i go live and do free tarot card readings on the channel and you can participate I'm going to cleanse the energy. Turn knowledge into wisdom. This is in the past. Um, moon energy. I bet you this is a time frame of one of the full moons that we had back in cancer season. There was a lot of moon energy then. And it, may, it meant endings. It meant releasing. Turn knowledge into wisdom. It's the hardest energy to get through because it's dark and you have to hold on to this little bit of light. 
but that's seeing your way forward. It could also, once again, just be a time step. So let's, let's, uh, and that's why it's coming up now, this sense of referencing back. What did you learn then? What insight did you gain around that time? Let's get this top card. We have be peace. So there's tranquility returning. There's balance returning. There's a sense of completeness returning. And being the one in some ways that brings the solution to the problem. So that's, once again, you playing an active role as being a solution to a problem. Let me see if I can show you the cards a little bit better. Yeah, let me just... <laughs> the top of my head might be cut off, but whatever. No, no, whatever. Um, and then we have coming out in the future. Love is all around. So this is high praise. People singing your praises. People being very flattering, very chatty, very sweet, very cute, very complimentary using words. This is Gemini energy. But it's also just a playful, light-hearted, happy time and be at home. So there is um, just being in a comfortable place, knowing where you are, knowing where you belong, other people complimenting you, knowing kn knowing that you belong there, knowing like people happy. And then sometimes like stings comes out, which is a little bit of a nagging, a little bit of a persistence. But in some ways it's accompanied by really positive energy. And so what this means is that your job isn't over, that it's, it's people are happy with the fact that you're around, you feel very at home with this nagging, with these pestering, with something that, something that keeps nagging at you. You feel very at home, you actually feel happy about it. Um, what does that mean, you have feeling happy with being, um, with being, almost being inspired by the fact that there are still problems to solve? Now, I don't know why this adds value to your life, but it does. Because there is you feeling right at home with that space. So it's like you've got problems to solve, but they're not problems that you don't know what to do with. You know exactly what to do with them. And there's there's almost like love is all around, like other people are noticing too. You're getting a lot of compliments for it. So even the challenges that are coming out in the near future are challenges that are going to make you look good. Bringing peace into the situation, actually feeling feeling good with the work that you're doing or with the results that you're gaining, feeling good about them. And then we have wolf spirit in the past, this sense of maybe that's the wisdom. Knowing where you're blessed, <laughs> knowing that total comfort is not necessarily the blessing but to feel like you live for a purpose. And that's what the agitation of the, the gadfly is, or the, in this case, the mosquito, I think it says wasp spirit, wasp, keeping you on your toes. So let's get into the seven day play by play, Sagittarius. Let's do seventh day. I just wanna draw these cards first. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, you're handling it all right. Oh, that's interesting. Mm. Okay, day one. King of Pentacles. So you got a job, you got offered a new position or something works out at work, a sense of figuring it out, a sense of 
um, being very helpful to the situation, maybe taking charge of your own life. This could even be something between you and a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Um, this would be a masculine, not necessarily a male or female, but a masculine, which means they are fully present in their purpose and they're fully focused in their purpose. And they don't think about everything on the fringe or on the outside. They really just think about it in terms of they know who the hell they are. So this is this is either a very assured human being, somebody who knows who they are, um, that you are purpose, that you are dealing with, that will help to grow and expand your life. Or this represents a job or a boss that is offering you expansion, right? Because that is that Sagittarius energy of being able to expand and grow. So that's day one. Lovely. What about day two? Taking action. Um, this could be impulsivity, but I, in, it could be, but it's more or less moving forward or making a decision to go after something, uh, yourself and, and make the investment in it, right? It's almost a sense of these cards together are a sense of, I'm going to make an investment in something. It may cost me money or may, may be risky, but I'm going to make an investment in something. Now, it doesn't have to be a financial investment. It's just saying, I'm going to take the resources or the energy that I have, and I'm using it to make an investment. How amazing is this? It's saying it's a good decision. Like, the cards aren't even leaving. What, what For whatever, God doesn't want you to doubt at all. This is worth the risk, or else this card wouldn't have come out. But it's saying, this is that's a good judgment. As, as risky as it may seem, it's actually a really good judgment, right? To, to, even if it pulls a little bit from you first, it's actually a really good judgment. You're going to be happy that you made that decision. Okay, so what's day three? We have Cancerian energy here with a chariot. Day three is moving forward. Driving somewhere, going somewhere, deciding to travel, <clears throat> or just movement in general, progress. And then we have in just the, the justice card here, um, balancing things out, helping us find the truth and righteousness through truth. And then we have the moon card here, which is into the unknown. So this sense of even though you don't understand everything about this situation, knowing that you have what it takes to balance everything out. Um, but these are three major arcana. So one third day is all about fate. It's all about fate revealing itself to you. Um, we also have another moon coming up. We just had the full moon, um, on the 21st. So maybe on the fourth or on the fourth or fifth, we have a new moon coming up. That would be the new moon in Virgo. Okay. What's this moon card here for? And this would be the new moon because it's the moon going over the sun. It's an eclipse. So there's things are changing, but they're coming up from the depths and within or the depths of the universe and they'll surprise you. What is what is the moon card here? Wheel of Fortune. It's just a major arcana defining a major arcana. It was meant to happen whatever the surprises are that are coming up. They were meant to be, but this is a fortunate time. This is almost a sense of fortune that you didn't expect. On day three. An opportunity that you didn't expect. You could be traveling somewhere for a court date, for justice, to defend yourself, or to even things out, balance things out. But I... I, I don't take it as literally. I think it's got to do with when you do the right thing, even if it takes the risk, you end up getting beautiful results. So there is a sense of faith in the direction you're being pulled right now. What about... Day four for Sagittarius. 
So this has to do with something way in the past. This is a leap of faith, or maybe you started a long time ago on this. You were brand new with an open heart, and now there is a following. There is a open-heartedness, revealing your heart, a sense of, I took this leap of faith. And now I'm going to stick with it. This is an offering here of love and appreciation and respect and faith. So this is following in faith. The Knight of Cups could be somebody that's a very open hearted, very kind, very loving, very caring. It's almost like in some ways, Sagittarius, you knew to set this up. That's what it's trying to tell me. I'm not really sure. I know this sounds horrible. No, it's not horrible. I'm not really sure that this is actually happening in your life or that you set this up to happen in somebody else's life. And now, and you, you set those seeds a long time ago. And now you're like, okay, good choice. I'm, I'm glad I did that, even if it was risky. Because now you're starting to see that there is this energy of momentum and that it's it, there's growth where you planted that seed. And there is a level of abundant happiness in it for you because, first of all, you recognize your own power, even if it took time, knowing that you planted that seed. And you're seeing now it's real, right? You do have that power. You created this. Something that you created is coming to life. And you're seeing it. What about day five? Taurus energy. This is Hierophant. So traditional, maybe marriage. But I, what I saw was all of a sudden something is tangible. Height, length, width. Width. This is 3D. This is something coming into the measurable space of reality. A heavy burden is involved. Taking on a lot of responsibilities or taking on a lot of responsibilities to keep things status quo, to keep things as they are, or a, a marriage that's creating heavy burdens or you're taking on too much responsibility to make this happen and make this real this could also be financial burdens maybe you're handling too much what about day six but this is now your ships coming in or whoever ships coming in so day five it may get a little bit heavy but there is this energy of the day, right, like right by the end of this week, we still have day seven. It's really weird. Is but now you see the value of it coming in. Something actually paying off. Let's get a moon card. Let's get a moon card. A time for healing. So this also fixes a problem as well. And a sense of easement. And there was high tension. And maybe there's a confrontation of that high tension that existed on day five. But there's also this sense of, no, this is a new beginning, a new start. And this could also imply the new moon that's coming. We had a powerful full moon. It was a super moon. It was not a blue moon. I don't know why people kept saying that. It was not a blue moon, but it was a, a, a super moon. It was very close to Earth. And oh my God, was it overwhelming. It just legitimately acted like a super soak, like a, a super vacuum. And it sucked emotions out of me that I didn't even know were there. It was insane. And now this is a new start, a new beginning. A time to make everything right and you get that you you get that energy let's get an angel card really quick and then please follow me to the extended we got to get to day seven 
and find out how all this plays out. I love you guys so much. The link is down below in the description box. I've also pinned it to the top of the comment section. Or please just come over and find the video over on my Vimeo channel, Born Without Boundaries Tarot on Vimeo. I will see you guys there.